story time when my sister almost got taken out of this world by someone who was getting initiated into voodoo in Haiti. So if you don't know me, hello, I'm Jenny. I grew up in Haiti and I've seen a lot of things. But this particular story was kind of crazy because my sister, who actually my mom here, who lived here at the time, was actually buying things and getting stuff ready for her funeral at the age of, I believe, 16 or 17. She was very young and I was a lot younger, but I still remember the story. So let me put my coffee down. So growing up in Haiti, you do see a lot of things, especially like when it comes to like voodoo and witchcraft and all that stuff. So we always are very careful, right? So we always go to sleep very early because, or not necessarily go to sleep early, but we are in the house at a certain time because you just cannot be outside after a certain time. So that particular day, we were all outside playing hide and seek, but there's this neighbor that lived right in front of us. There's this huge highway in front of their house, but we live behind their house, so they live right in front of the highway. So that family is a very sweet family. We know them. They share food with us. They always, you know, in Haiti, if you live in like a very close neighborhood, people will cook and bring food to the family. And then whenever you cook, you bring food to them. So this particular family we're very, very nice with. And one night we were all playing hide and seek, not knowing that this guy who lives in that house was actually getting ready to be initiated it it to be initiated to be a voodoo priest because they just passed down the gift right so as he was practicing it wasn't like they were trying to harm us or anything he was practicing and he got this powder and mixed the powder and put it on the floor just to see you know if he is capable of doing certain stuff right so we're playing hide and seek and my sister was actually running around it was i was i don't know who was seeking or who was hiding but I know that we were all playing hide and seek and my sister crossed over this powder that was on the floor not un unbeknown to her because obviously it's nighttime and we're playing and she crossed over the powder and ever since that night my sister became literally like a zombie like she she was sick we couldn't figure out what's wrong with her they took her to different hospitals no hospital was able to tell them tell us what was wrong with her and they even took her to the Dominican Republic because sometimes whenever you feel like, okay, well, doctors in Haiti cannot tell you what's wrong, so we'll go over to the neighboring town, which is Dominican Republic. We'll go there to go to a doctor who we believe is more professional or have more tools. Well, they couldn't tell us what's wrong with my sister. And my mom is here. My aunt is calling, is calling my mom. Uncles are calling my mom, trying to figure things out. And we got to the point where my sister just would not get better. And she was just getting sick and, and sicker and sicker. So then my mom started sending money so we can get like funeral arrangements and, you know, everybody getting their funeral clothing. And in Haiti, it takes forever for everybody to get all their clothing and stuff, usually about a month the more will be the body would be in the morgue but my sister wasn't dead yet but she was like damn near about to die right so then we got the casket ready we had one of our neighbor actually was a casket maker like he will make caskets literally right there so he was preparing a casket for my sister to be buried in at this point she's like 16 years old so then finally i have this aunt of mine who is she's not a christian but she's also not into like practicing voodoo and all that but she has friends who does it so she ended up going to one of her friends who basically told her well her friend is a voodoo priest um or priestess it was a woman told her that somebody that we knew did something to her but it was accidental so my aunt didn't go to the family you know being crazy and arguing and all that because she already knew that it wasn't on purpose that they did it but the voodoo priestess was able to tell us the initial of the family because you know family names in the islands is very important so we knew the the people the minute they told us the initial of the family and they told us you know somebody close and all that stuff so my aunt ended up going to the family that is that lives in front of us that did this to my sister unknowingly and they talked to my, uh, my, my aunt. My aunt told them what's going on. And finally, the people did something because obviously they have the antidote to whatever they did. But because we didn't know that, we didn't know how to fix it. But as soon as my aunt talked to them, the guy who did it fixed some sort of antidote. Literally, the next day, my sister was up running and just being a kid again. She was literally 
alive and well as if she was never sick. So sometime whenever you go to the hospital and they cannot find what's wrong with you. <sighs> Anyways, guys, that's my story. There's a lot more stories that I, I've experienced living in Haiti and I would love to share with you guys. But lately I've been like, not lately, but for the longest, I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> those stories are crazy. And, you know, I don't want to just bring my personal story on the internet, but I feel like those are childhood stories and we all have them. So enjoy guys.